Now this socket right here is so that I can connect my 5 volt DC uh, transformer. So I'm going to add a couple of wires to it. A red one and a black one. I'm going to call the red one the hot one and the black one the ground. On DC you have that. I'm going to just clamp these right here down so that I can keep it from moving while I'm working on it. The very back one right here that has the rivet that goes into the back side of the socket, that's the hot one. So I'm going to take the wire, put some uh, flux on it. Put some solder on it. Okay, and then we're going to attach it to the back terminal. Do the same with the black wire. Put some flux on it. All right. Now either of the other two terminals, they're both grounds. So now our socket is here with our power wires. This we're going to hot glue into one of the openings up here in the board. Uh, any of them that you didn't close, and it's just a good place to put it that's out of the way. All right, now we're going to attach our 5 volt wires onto our relay boards. And once again, if you look, you'll see that the first one is ground. The second one is the voltage. So we're going to put our red wires in the second one. And we're going to put a wire long enough to reach the other relay board in the same hole. Tighten it down. And the same with the black. It goes into the ground side with a black wire long enough to reach the other terminal. All right. Now the black into the ground side. And the red into the voltage side. And now our relays are powered. You also have a 5 volt connection on your Arduino board, but you don't need to use it. It can be powered just fine from the computer, but the computer can't if you use a 5 volt lead off of one of the 5 volt leads on the board here and use that to power, that's, it's not enough and the relays won't work right. So they do need their own power source. So that's why I have the transformer here that's a 5 volt 2 amp. Each board pulls 160 milliamps, so this one out here is just fine to run everything. Alright, we're going to finish wiring up the rest of the 110 now. You'll need 16 of the black 12 gauge. Uh, strip them off about a half an inch on each end. And I did have to back up earlier. The three quarters on these was a little too much. I had to pull them out, cut about a quarter inch off the end. I had just a little too much of the bare wire showing. Just for safety, I decided to cut them off. So on these, you've still got an open hole on each of your 110 terminals all the way across. So we're going to put one of these into the open hole, tighten them down. You also want to be careful when you're tightening that you don't twist these terminals loose from the board. They're just soldered connections here and you can twist them off if you're not careful. So you need to either hold them with a pair of pliers carefully or 
I just use the uh, wire itself to hold them. Okay, we're going to place a wire into each of the open holes on the terminals here. You'll continue to do this till you have all 16 of them. And as I say, hang on to the wire right there. Don't let the terminal turn as you're tightening it. All right, now that all 16 are in, you're going to be bending them up over the top and just bring them all together here. We're going to be connecting them with some connectors here that I've got from Lowe's and another hardware store. One of them has eight connections, one of them has four. Uh, you can do it with four of the four connections or any way you like to do it. But we just need to get them all together. So we're going to plug each one into the connector. In that one, I'm going to put two in this one, in the middle slots. Alright, now we need to connect the two, so you'll also need two pieces here, about three inches long. Stripped off about a half inch on each end. Just bend it around into a U. Now we'll take our eight inch piece, put it in the other open hole here and bend it around to where the other connections are at. So you want to do that on both sides. Alright, we've got our power connections on both the boards right now and our leads are ran out here with the others. So we're going to turn it around and we're going to connect the power cord. Alright, we're going to finish connecting the power cord right here. This is just a cord that came off an old piece of equipment I had. So we're going to connect the colors together here. The blacks are your hots. We're going to use a wire nut to put them together with. Give them good and tight. And then give them a tug to make sure that they're connected. And then we're going to tape them for safety. This keeps the nut from being able to come loose and protects any wire that might be exposed. All right, that's the black one. All right, now we'll connect the white wires together the same way. Give them a tug, make sure that they're not coming out, and tape them up. we've got the grounds.
And there's our 110.